I was very surprised when Lavazza approached me and uh, invited me to participate in the calendar. I've been aware of the calendar and admiring very much the work of most of the photographers that have been involved with it. So when Lavazza approached me, I was very honored and humbled. It was an enormous challenge. And I also wanted to be sure that I could honor the six artists. So that was the first thing we did was to, to have a couple of, of conversations with the six of them and, uh, and just listen and, uh, and talk about things that are very practical. And through this conversation, you start to hear all these ideas that are almost coming out from their subconscious. Um, so it's partly dreams, partly things they've seen, partly things they never were able to do, but they want to do. <laughs> they kind of guided me to the places where they wanted to be uh, portrayed. Like, uh, I remember when Sonita came up with the idea of the women behind her uh, being slightly blurred like ghosts. With Cristina, she wanted to be sure that I shot her in Mexico because when she started photographing, it was really hard for a Mexican woman to, to become a National Geographic photographer. When I shared the photos of the, of the swamp with Ben, he got excited. He said, the wood of my, of my guitar feels like it came from this swamp. My music comes from this swamp. I am a creature of the swamp. All of them brought us to these places that had something deep in the subconscious that really ran to them. Also, at the same time, I had to keep in mind the, like the overall arc of the calendar. I knew that I wanted to sh shoot all these people in different places and have different landscapes explore different colors of light, different topographies. And in that sense, it was like a collection of, of different facets of the environment. This project is kind of an evolution of what I've been doing as a cinematographer. You know, when you're doing movies, you're shooting thousands, if not millions of frames. But when you are shooting stills, there's only one photo. And that photo has to be expressive, and it has to tell the story, and it has to reveal whatever mysteries you want to reveal, or, or whatever questions you want to raise. It's only one opportunity, one photo. Another thought uh, while we were making the calendar was to realize that we live in a moment of discord, fracture, and this artists kind of reminded me of the things that bring us together. Music brings us together. I think the land, nature brings us together. Art brings us together. And if we can celebrate that with a calendar, it would be incredible. All our locations were very impacted by climate change. And uh, that just brought up um, this question, can the calendar make, you know, people get together? Can, can we bring awareness of all these issues? And if we can raise these questions, and if we can raise awareness, maybe there's a chance that we will be able to come together to solve these problems. All of these artists are people that give every hour of their life to make the, the world a better place. In that sense, this was, you know, an incredible honor for me to, to work with people that are so serious about what they are doing. I think the attitude of trying to bring awareness, trying to make some change is, is very necessary. And even if it's a tiny, tiny uh, grain of sand, um, I think anything we can do at this point is very important.